In programming, variables are storage spaces for data. They work just like the memory button on a calculator. They can keep values returned by commands, including calculations results, for a later use. In Operation Flashpoint, variables are created by using the equals sign. On the left, you type the variable name, and on the right, the value. For example, x equals 2. The variable x is created and now holds number 2. Names may consist of letters, case insensitive, digits, and underscore, and can be of any length, but must start with a letter. Value can be of any type. To replace the variable value, Simply perform the same operation I just showed you. So x equals 2, semicolon x equals 4. x now has a value of 4 instead of 2. Now let's add x equals hello world, and it will contain a string instead of a number. Commands returning values may be passed as well. Here are a few examples. x equals 2 plus 2. Expression 2 plus 2 will be resolved first, and its result, 4, will be assigned to x. x equals 3 times 2 plus 2. Expression in the parentheses has the priority, so 3 times 4 is 12, which is then assigned to x. My weapon equals primary weapon player. String indicating player's weapon name is added to my weapon variable. It remembers which weapon player had at the time of executing this code. Now to combine variables with other commands. If my weapon has a string, then it can be used with commands that require a string, like hint and add weapon. If a number, then it can be used with set overcast, set skill, etc. When passed as arguments, variables return a value that they hold. For example, my weapon equals primary weapon player, semicolon, hint, my weapon. My weapon returns a string, so it's the same as if you would use hint m16. To display contents of a non-text variable, use hint format commands. x equals 2, b equals x. Number from x is copied to b. In a similar fashion, you update values in the variables, so x equals x plus 2. Two is added to the current number under x, and afterwards, that result replaces the current x's value. In a units menu, there is a field called name. The game will assign unit to the variable you enter into this field. As a result, you can refer to this object from any other code. Insert a new soldier and name it unit1. In the player's initialization field, type unit1 do watch this. If the variable name is the same as a command name, then the former will take over, so be careful when creating variables.
This concludes the third part. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.